Hi and welcome back. Today I am here with one of our incredible social media strategists, Hannah. And what we're going to share with you today is Hannah's top tips when it comes to creating content for Instagram. So basically how you can create different types of content pieces that are engaging for your audience. So over to you. All right, so I want to share with you my eight um, tips for content on Instagram. So awesome. number one would be featuring your products or services. Um, for that, just make sure that the photo is well lit and it looks like it's really good quality. Um, that well, people will be um, more attracted to your products and services if the photo obviously is good quality. Mm. Um, then another big one um, is behind the scenes or um, content of your uh, photos of your team. So you want to show who's working at your company, what are the processes with Within your company, um, whenever there are special celebrations or a special occasion, like a product launch or something like that, um, go ahead and take photos and feature it on your Instagram um, feed. Um, behind the scenes is a really big yeah. one that people love. Um, it works really well for basic bananas as well. We do it all the time. So um, that's a really good one to do. Yeah, we get a lot of engagement on our Absolutely. team photos. So check out Basic Bananas too if you want to. We always get a ton of engagement when we have a picture of a team member or something when we have a celebration here. You yeah. always, you and Martina take amazing pictures and we always get super high engagement on Absolutely. that. Absolutely, people love that um, yeah. very much. Yeah. Um, another big one that gets really good engagement for Basic Bananas as well is inspirational quotes. Now you want to think about what kind of quotes would be um, inspirational for your followers mm -hmm. um, and so what we do is just for business owners kind of inspirational quotes um, so that's a really good one as well yeah um, then, then number then, four yeah another one um, would be lifestyle so anything that can be um, related to um, your target audience um, lifestyle for example when it comes towards the weekend um, or what else have we done in the, in sort the past? of yeah sort of lifestyle. so number four lifestyle is sort of you know like I know that you and Martina post some photos, for example, of like a surfer and then, you know, we're sliding or gliding or surfing into the weekend, yeah. a bit more sort of lifestyle, casual stuff, sort of wishing or it's Monday, let's get back yeah. into it with a, a cool, beautiful picture that fits into your theme. Absolutely. Yeah. And then another one that is obviously really, really good for your business is featuring your clients um, in mm -hmm. photos, using your products or using your services. Um, you want to show that people are actually buying your uh, products or services and that people are having a great time doing so. Exactly. So if you have anyone that has a success story um, or has been loving your product, um, go ahead and, and maybe ask if you can take a photo with them and the photo uh, or the product um, and feature it on your Instagram yeah. feed. Amazing. Um, that's a good one. I love it. And then number six? Um, number six would be educational. We use this for Ocean Lovers, which is our product um, based company. Um, so, for example, anything in relation to um, how to be more eco friendly or what is happening in the world and news wise um, in terms of the environment. So, um, that would be a big one if that relates to your business. It doesn't work for necessarily every kind of business, but um, for something like Ocean Lovers, which is all about ocean awareness, it works really well. Exactly. So, anything educational for our branding agency, of course, we share a lot of content about branding, educational stuff on, on branding, on fonts, on things like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. That's another one that I was actually going to mention. The next one, yeah. Um, the uh, next tip. Number seven, um, yeah. So, kind of appreciation posts. Martina, who runs the um, business with Instagram page, um, shares sometimes fonts or logos um, of other companies or big brands that we appreciate. And mm -hmm. it's kind of like a bit of uh, inspiration, but yeah, appreciation post, I would say. Excellent. Definitely. And then the last one? And the last tip I want to share is content. So whether you have a new blog post up or a new podcast episode, or if you've been featured on an article, for example, Francisca had an article in the Sydney Morning Herald recently, and we did feature that on our Instagram page as well. Um, anything like that would be a really good thing to, to feature mm -hmm. as well. And it makes you look a lot more credible as well. Excellent. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching. Of course, we would love for you to share your Instagram handles with us too. So feel free to post them below the video. And if you want to look at our Instagram channels, we have Basic Bananas, we have the Business Hood, Ocean Lovers. We will post them in the video so you can check out where our channels are and maybe, you know, stalk, <laughs> stalk Hannah and stalk Martina and stalk our team and see what we're doing because we might get some inspiration too. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Thanks again. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh,